Senpai? Yes. Let's go.
I'll see you again. About this. Mister. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please come back again. Yes. My. Is that so? <laughs> I loved him this much. And because I loved him, it saddened me that he forgot my love. <sighs> oh. 
I was a fool. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Senpai? Yes. About this.
Mister, thank you. Thank you, Senpai. Senpai, I thought about it. Why my mind just went blank when I heard about Konami. I mean, I ran away from showbiz because I was tired of being an idol. So I shouldn't have had any problems. And yet, I felt so angry about it. Why do you think that is? Yeah. You knew all along, huh? <laughs> but really, that's how it was. Reset's name in lights, idolized by the masses. That was me, too. I didn't want to lose that me. There's no way to become someone else. I ran away from my plain, gloomy self. Then I ran away from my idol self. Right now, I'm the homicide detective self, I guess. I would have run away from that as well if I didn't realize. I've been trying to become how I wanted to be. I pick a role. When I'm through with it, I continue chasing the real me by picking another role. When in fact, those roles are all me. I don't want to run away anymore. I don't want to search somewhere else for myself. I'm gonna hang in there as the complete me. came to this town. After all, it's where I met you. <laughs> I have to go home now. <sighs> I wish time would just stop.
am currently in Senpai's room. Seems quite clean for a boy of his age. Um... There doesn't seem to be anything lying around that he wouldn't want me to see. Now then, where could the goods in question be hiding? I'll ask the man himself. So, where do you hide them? Really? <laughs> I see. Good. <laughs> I'll bring my photo book next time. The swimsuit one. It's real cute. <laughs> Senpai, you're leaving in the spring, right? I've made up my mind about something. You see, <sighs> I'm thinking of going back into showbiz this spring. I am Rizad, after all. And when I consider it that way, I think I can have more fun working. I know how hard it is for a star to make a comeback after an entire year's absence. But even then, I want to start over from the beginning. Do you remember the fan who gave me that letter? I'll do it for her. For my old manager, Inoue-san. For my family, everyone. You. And for myself. Senpai, this... I want you to have it, Senpai. It's the one we took at school. I look really normal, don't I? But even then, I signed it Reset. A reset without a fake smile. Senpai, I won't make the same mistake. There's no such thing as a me who isn't me. So I won't run away. I won't try to be someone I'm not. There's a lot of Reseis inside me. I won't try to change them. Instead, I'll let people know that those Reseis exist. That's the me I want to be. As you're watching me, I'll do my best. So, um, well, I'm happy doing anything if you're there with me. Well, <laughs> oh, come on. I've confessed my love hundreds of times on TV. Why can't I do it in person? <sighs> I'm sure I can hang in there as long as you're watching me. Because, um, you're special to me. what I'm doing. I am me. I can say that for sure now. And the strength to say so, it was you who found it for me. I'm going to like the me you found. After all, I like the you who found her. Senpai, I love you. I love you. <sighs> Senpai, keep watching me. So I won't mess up again. Look at me. <sighs> um, well, I... I've never gone through this kind of thing, so... Um... If we were on a TV set, this would be a wrap. So, uh... What am I supposed to do after this? Hmm? <laughs>
Uh, hey. I'm sorry. My. Yes. I'm not really death. Truth is, I don't have any special powers like that. I am not death. Just another boring human being, waiting for a miracle that never came. Before I knew it, I was wishing death on the one person I loved most in the world. I was lonely, forgotten, and loving, being loved. All that is what goes into making us human. <laughs> but it's too late now, isn't it? is gone. I can't ignore that fact any longer. I need to face the truth head on. I want to see you again.
Yo! Man, this fog just won't quit. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. But what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, Senpai? Ah, oh, this girl never changes. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. G guys, put on your glasses! It's all clear. What the hell's going on? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Then, um... Could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? Huh? Well, you, you guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. <laughs> it's it's just a thought. <laughs> Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? 
Let's get him over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. <laughs> wow, we haven't used that name in a while. Here's a story about the fog. Um, some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist of harmful substances. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Oh, is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here, either. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Konishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later, suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened, but all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? I'm sure your uncle can. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Yes, there are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? It's a possibility. Hell's up with that! We all know he did it. You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets. They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki Senpai. No, not just her, or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's his fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, too. What's the matter? A katatsu? Oh! Then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Kotatsu. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock. All right, off to the houseware section for Nanako-chan! If we're getting a Kotatsu, we better get some oranges to complete the set. It's a cliché because it's true, damn it. The best compliment to a kotatsu would be a heated rug. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. Oh yeah, you've never used a kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. Can I still stay here? You kept your promise to me, so I should be going back. But I don't want to go until Nana-chan gets better. Of course you can stay. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But I couldn't save Nana-chan. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. 
We couldn't have done that without you. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys. Sensei, I'm so touched. I'll stay by your side until Nana-chan comes home, Sensei. Oh, that's right. There's no one but you at your place. Hey, why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously. We're clear on this, right? Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Ugh. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. What? What did you just say? Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Stay, Stay out, out of this! this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. But what would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? Yeah, that, that white round shape's the best. A plush doll's the way to go. All right, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes! And we'll bake the cake! Of course! Let's make it a cake to remember. Oh, no, you're not! Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? Hello, this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Come on, let's go! Doctor, this fog is poisonous, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? They said so on TV. Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. <sighs> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. Nanako. Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, but... Damn it. What does this have to happen to a little girl like her? Why'd it turn out like this? Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? You guys still here? How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. 
What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs. There's no way that'll stand up in court. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? If you want to see that stuff so bad, we'll show you! Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! Hey, stop! What the? Is Nanako chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. What the hell? What's going on? No. Nanako chan. <laughs> Nanako-chan, Nanako-chan, can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. <laughs> Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. How's Nanako? Doctor. <sighs> Big bro. Mm -mm. Nanako! <clears throat> Nanako! I'm sorry, sir. No! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Nana Chan. We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Dojima-san, what's with that look? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanako-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec, that's the way to... Transported into the same hospital? For crying out loud, he's the suspect in the case! What are you getting mad at me for? This is the biggest hospital, and he's in no condition to be moved. I can't tell you that. Just tell us where he is already. 
Dojima's son's on his way, ain't he? You don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him! Kanji-kun, you don't mean... Uh, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up! Where's this room? <laughs> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. I... I was always watching over Nana-chan, and I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only Teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... <laughs> need to speak to him. Like we said, without permission. Permission? Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... She's all I have! She's... The only one in the world... Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room. I'll go alert the doctors. Dojima-san... Was he seriously gonna... <sighs> his only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima-san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai, and now Nanako-chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right! <laughs> Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? Ha <laughs> <sighs>